Man United signed Casemiro from Real Madrid for a reported fee of 70 million euros. The, Mad the former Madrid star has come into the team and fits into the system perfectly. Today we'll look at why and how he has fit into the team. As you can see from his F brief report, the blocks per 90, two, uh, averages two blocks per 90 with 99 percentile. Area has one, averages three per 90, 99 percentile, stack will one. This, at the matrix, you want your defensive midfielder to be averaging. This are the matrix you want it to be performing in. And from the green bars, as you can see, he is performing. Progressive passes. An average of four progressive passes in the match. An average of four. Sales in percentile is still very, very good. Pass completion, 84%. Could be higher. But still decent. This... Is the matrix of Casemiro. And now on to the tactics. Before Casemiro's arrival at Man United, we have had a lot of other people playing this TDM role. The likes of Fred, McTominay, but Casemiro is a proper DM and offers a whole new difference in the midfield for Man United. He has finally covered the spot vacated by Michael Carrick in 2016, if I can remember well. So we look at his strengths. Casemiro has a strong tactical now. So he, he, he's, he's tactically inbound. He studies his game after the match. Before, learning the likes of Fred or McTominay possibly. They were defensively good, but they did not, they did not have positional awareness. They were not posi positionally aware. That's why during the transitions, during transitions, my United were, my United were very vulnerable. You could get by them easily during transitions because Fred and McTominay weren't positionally disciplined. They will commit either too early to tackle or hold their line back too late, inviting it and thereby leading them in front of the goal. But with experience and quality in Casemiro, United have finally had a game changer at that midfield. Season DB in the midfield, thereby freeing Ericsson Bruno. With Casemiro in the midfield, you have ball progression. Ball progression. He's not, he doesn't have the ability of Ericsson and Bruno Fernandes or Martinez in ball progression. It means Martinez and Varan. Doesn't have the ability of, of Martinez, Ericsson or Bruno ball progression, yes. But he still has the sight, he sees it and he executes when he sees it is the better option or is when he sees the time to create a chance. During the time of Fred and McTominay, you often see ball being recycled backward. Being too afraid to make this pass is re recycled to a side, cycle to a side. Cycle to a side, and that's why United couldn't beat teams who were sitting deep. Now with Casemiro, this pass, he makes it. He makes the pass instantly. If he sees Rashford is free through the lines, he plays the pass. If you see Eriksen in between the lines, he plays the pass to Eriksen. If you see Bruno's in between the line, he plays the pass to them without hesitation. If he sees that's the best option. He plays the pass. That is tactical now from Eric from Casemiro. Then, while in transition, in transition, he is just brilliant. He causes what I call high turnovers. If if it, let's say United lose the ball in attack now currently, and the seven gets the ball and they start flooding forward for the counter, he has a good reading of the game. Before the ball, this ball goes to the nine. It's either closing him down. His back, his back is turned against him. But if he turned, if his face towards him, he gives him a little space, watches the ball. When there's a slight miss hit, gets, makes the tackle. And once you make the tackle now, the nine is out. Four is out now. And there is a, there is a five, three, six against six. An even battle now. That's why he's good during transition. His tackling is world class. But that's why he's a world class defensive midfielder. 
Congratulations is brilliant. And also, one thing I've noticed with Casemiro since his arrival at Man United is the switches of play. He is not, not afraid to make the switches of play. Fred and McTominay were often very, very safe. Thinking of, they thinking very passively. They don't want to lose the ball. They don't want to lose possession. So they were get playing into the side, to the side, to the side, slow. I want to notice with Casemiro, if a side is overloaded, let's drag the defense here, drag everybody to one side here. The side is overloaded. The side is overloaded here. Talo, Casemiro, Shaw, and Sancho will all on the flank. If the ball is from Talo, the ball goes to Casemiro. He makes this pass instantly, switching the play sharp. That doesn't have time. Also, that, that doesn't give time to the defense to shuffle across. And if they're shuffling across, you'll find the space in between the line. They were finding that pass. He is a game changer. He, an absolute game changer for United in that CDM role. With him in the CDM role, he frees off Bruno and Eriksen. They, they have confidence that they are, there's someone there that will protect them. So they keep flying, bombing forward, making these underlapping runs, making underlapping runs. With Fred and McTominay formally, you see them sit this deep to kind of protect them. But Casemiro, they bomb for make underlapping runs, run from left to right. This is it's much better. And also defensively. One thing I've noticed in the game defensively, let's track the defense back. Everybody back in their defensive shape. Where that seems on attack on attack now. Defensively. Let's say the team are attacking. Talos flank. They're attacking Talos flank. They're attacking Talos flank. I don't know. He's going to raise action in number five. Two center forwards. Sorry, two CDMs. Rashford still with them. CDM there. Yeah. Casemiro here. Casemiro protects protects his full box. Era flanks, he protects his full box. Why am I protects his full box? Normally, if the ball, if any CDM, there, anywhere, if any other person, Era Fred, McTominay, anyone else, they are playing the CDM role there, they often let this underlap happen. This underlap happen, happens often against my United. So if that was occupied with this, that was led to the, if you, if you recall in the beginning of the season, that was led to the Brighton goal against Man United. Where they played the pass, I think Maguire was here, I think. Then from there, he went across and they scored the goal. That was against the, his fellow fullback. The box to box midfielder makes the run, is on the lap run. Casemiro is, is error here, blocking the run. Was error tracking the run, making it difficult. Or if there's no fullback here, if there's no fullback here. Casemiro is blocking the cut there was him for him to cut his stronger foot if he's right footed. He can't cut his stronger foot to be the cross in because he's there to block it. There by making them go backward, he makes it difficult for the opposition in transitions in the flank play. In also, I also forget. Aerial is dominant in air. He, Martinez, Varan, progressing the ball, switching the play. He is United's game changer. Thank you guys for watching the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And peace.